Hello, my name is Dr. Gary Fair, and I'm the Associate Vice President of Research, Engagement, and Graduate Studies. The University of the Fraser Valley is located on the ancestral territory of the Stalo people. We gratefully acknowledge our ability to live, work, and thrive together on this land. Welcome to the 2021 Undergraduate Research Excellence Awards. This year's theme is Hidden Gems. Students are like geodes. Geodes are those plain round rocks that look pretty ordinary on the outside, but when we dig deeper and open them up, discover the sparkle within. U of V is excited to present 32 of our most brilliant students with research awards totaling 26,000. These students were nominated by their faculty supervisors for extraordinary research work, either as part of the UFE work study program, as research assistants, or for an outstanding research project as part of a course or an honors. Congratulations to all the students. By participating in research, you are developing knowledge, skills, and experience, a winning combination. To begin our program, President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Joanne McLean would like to share some remarks. Hi everyone, I'm Joanne McLean, President and Vice Chancellor of UFB, and it's my pleasure to congratulate all of the Undergraduate Research Excellence Award winners. As you know, the world is currently facing unprecedented challenge, and history has shown us research is a catalyst for solving the world's most pressing issues. However, this work does not promise to be easy, and answers to the most important questions require dedication to unraveling complexity. Your engagement in research, without a doubt, has tested you. There have been moments of true difficulty, I am sure, when nothing seemed to make sense or come together as you had hoped. And at those times, it's important to remember that there is just so much to be learned from results you did not expect, from, from even failure. Please take pride in your achievement, as I know that your faculty supervisors take pride in you. And I sincerely thank and applaud all of the faculty members who have mentored our students along the way. Research and teaching are the core functions of our institution, and they're fundamentally linked. Together, we're fulfilling our mission of engaging learners, transforming lives, and building community. Best of luck for many more future successes to all of you. Congratulations. Thank you, President McLean. Now, U of E Provost and Vice President Academic, Dr. James Mandigo, has a few words to share with you. Hello, my name is James Mandigo, Provost and Vice President Academic at the University of the Fraser Valley. Congratulations to all the award winners at this year's Undergraduate Research Excellence Awards. As I look at the list of recipients and your award-winning projects this year, I am so impressed with the talent and the topics that you have chosen to address. You explored issues related to social justice, indigenization, food security, health, technology, environmental sustainability, and lifelong learning, among others. It is clear that UFV's hidden gems of student researchers have already had positive impacts in many ways, and today is an opportunity for us to celebrate and share with the world your accomplishments. I would also like to thank all of the faculty supervisors who provided mentorship to this year's award recipients. Your dedication to our students is exemplary, and your willingness to share your gifts with our students is a shining example of your ongoing commitment to engaging learners, transforming lives, and building communities. On behalf of Dr. Jacqueline Nolte, Dean of the College of Arts, I will now present the Undergraduate Research Awards for her faculty. It is my pleasure to present the award for communications to Lana Herrick for her project, Mitigating Dangers of Vespa Mandarinia. That's the Asian Giant Hornet. Thank you for this Research Excellence Award. I want to thank two of my agricultural professors, Renee Prasad and Tom Bauman, for inspiring my interest in agriculture and my love of entomology and my communications professors, David Thompson and Jess Wind, for giving me very valuable feedback throughout my courses with them. I am pleased to present the award for Creative Arts to Paul Hill for his project, Systemic White Racism in Canada, a graphic novel. I now present the award for Criminology and Criminal Justice to Tripit Sandhu and Ireland Bellsmith for their project, Safe Use Confession Pages. Thank you so much and congratulations to my peers for producing excellent research. 
I would like to give a special thanks to my research partner, Tripit Sandhu, and to professors Yvonne Dandrond, Haley Miller, and Amy Prevost for this research opportunity and for all of their amazing guidance throughout this project. For economics, the award goes to Nika Bachman for his project, How Different Healthcare Systems Affect the First Wave of COVID-19. Thank you for the award and thank you to David Dobson for signing the project. I am pleased to present the award for English to Cian Barnett for his project, Bridging the Gap, Exploring Literary Traditions in Alison Bechtel's Fun Home. When I found out that I was nominated for this award, I was shocked and I am immensely grateful. I would like to thank Professor Hilary Turner for her mentorship and for believing in me in those moments when I had no faith in myself or my abilities. I'd also like to thank professors Melissa Walter and Heather McAlpine for their immense patience with me. So, thank you. It is a pleasure to present the award for history to Jordan Sheffield for his project, Lenin to Lenin, the role of rock and rap in Mongolia's recent past. For media studies, the award goes to Aidan Whistler for his project, Horror Video Games, Sutora Terra. An award for me? Thank you. I will now present the award for philosophy to Shannon Pelletzing for her project, Do Coral Reefs Love Us Back? The Environmental Ethics of Coastal Tourism. Thank you so much for this award. I want to express my appreciation to the Potawatomi Nation and Robin Walt Kimmerer, as well as my environmental ethics professor, Anna Cook. Thank you. I am delighted to present the award for political science to Ian Bowes for his project, From Bellwether to Bastion, an analysis of the party system in the electoral districts of Kamloops. Hello, my name is Ian Bowes, and I'm uh, very excited and grateful to accept this award. Um, I'd just like to thank my parents for supporting me uh, my friend Tyler for proofreading the project, which was a thankless job that helped me out quite a bit. Um, and my prof, of course, Hamish Telford, who nominated it um, and has also been a great prof and, and really his classes have pushed me to become a better student and a better researcher. And then uh, as well as the Department of Political Science and the research office for choosing me. Uh, thank you. For psychology, the award goes to Shelby Schuster for her project, Women's Sensitivity to Cues of Men's Threat in an Online Dating Simulation and the Ineffectiveness of Online Dating Recommendations. I feel so grateful and honored to be the recipient of this award. A huge thank you to my thesis advisor, my professors, and my family and friends for supporting me throughout my research and university experiences. I will now present the award for Sociology to Michelle Grafton for her project, Enforcing the Rules versus Doing What's Right, Lived Experiences of Labor and Delivery Nurses in the Context of COVID-19. Hello, uh, thanks so much for the award and a special thank you to Dr. Michael Corman, who supervised the research. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> On behalf of Dr. Alistair Hodges, Dean of Health Sciences, I will now present the awards for his faculty. For kinesiology, the award goes to Jenna Nelson for her project, Myself Club, a virtual intervention for children with self-regulation challenges. I won. Thank you so much for this award. Um, I just wanna say a quick thank you also to Kathy and Allison for nominating me. It was such a pleasure working with you two again, and I couldn't think of a better way to finish off my time here at UFB. So thanks again, and I hope everyone has a great summer. It is my pleasure to present the award for nursing to Leah Perovich for her project, exploring the impact of nursing students' program experiences on post-graduation career specialty choices. Hello, I'd like to thank my faculty supervisor, Shelley Canning, for all her inspiration and guidance. On behalf of Dr. Tracy Ryder-Glass, Dean of Professional Studies, I will now present the awards for her faculty. I am pleased to present the award for adult education to Philippa Robert Shaw for her project challenges and issues in supporting added learners online. It was a lovely surprise and a real honour to receive this research award. It makes all the hard work worthwhile. Thank you so much to the Adult Education Department for nominating me. I couldn't have done it without your support. The award for business 
Gosta Lahela, Charlie Campbell, Shreya Joseph, Anarit Kora, Trisha Kumar, and Sukjo Sidhu for their project, The Effects of Message Framing on Building Public Support in Getting the COVID-19 Vaccine. Hi, I'm Shreya Joseph. Thank you for nominating our project on the COVID-19 Vaccine Framing for the Undergraduate Research Excellence Award. I would like to thank our professor, Mr. David Dobson, for his continuous support and guidance, as well as the contribution and hard work of my peers for making this possible. Uh, I thank my professor for giving me this opportunity to do this project, and then I thank my parents and my um, teammates who helped me to complete this project. At many educational institutions, research is reserved for graduate students. So we're especially grateful to FB for providing us with the opportunity to conduct high caliber research at an undergraduate level. The skills and knowledge we gained from this experience are truly valuable, so thank you. I am delighted to present the award for social work to Natalie Dahl and Jennifer Vaughn for their project, Social Work and the Practice slash Pursuit of Social Justice. Thank you to the School of Social Work and Human Services, and especially Dr. Lisa Moy and Dr. Amanda Valley, for opening the door for us to participate in this research and for supporting us every step of the way. Thank you, Dr. Lisa Moy, Dr. Amanda Valley, and Brianna Strum for their continuous mentorship, for giving us multiple opportunities, and believing in us. Thank you. And on behalf of Dr. Peter Geller, Interim Dean of Applied and Technical Studies, I will now present the award for his faculty. It is a pleasure to present the award for physics to Emily Redditch for her project, Perturbative Contributions to the Isoscalar Zero Plus Negative Hybrid Decay to Pi B1 1235 Plus. Thanks. I'm so honored to receive this award. I want to thank all my teachers here at UFV. They're all amazing. And special shout out to Dr. Derek Carnett, who supervised my research and nominated me for this award. On behalf of Dr. Lucy Lee, Dean of Science, I will now present the awards for her faculty. I'm delighted to present the award for Agriculture Science to Jade Sherwood for her project, Chemical Cues of Male and Female Leptopolinia japonica Parasitoids on Food Substrate of the Nationwide Berry Pest, Drosophila Suzuki. Hi there, my name is Jade Sherwood and I just wanted to say thank you so much for giving me the Undergraduate Research Excellence Award in Agriculture. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the support system I have. So thank you so much to Dr. Renee Prasad, Dr. Paul Abram, Dr. Michelle Franklin, Dr. Wim Van Herk, as well as Warren Wong for all your support, and my friends and family as well. Wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for you. Thank you. The award for biology goes to Kennedy Zwarich for her project, Pathogen Prevalence in Wild Bees Across the Fraser Valley. When I first began studying at UFE, I had no idea that there would be this many opportunities for research. I'm very grateful to the wonderful lab technicians that we have in biology, in addition to Dr. Justin Lee, and of course, Dr. Sandra Gillespie for her support and guidance from the very beginning. I feel incredibly honored. I am pleased to present the award for chemistry to Connor Fry for his project, Peptide Mapping Employing Pepsin, Trieth-Oxysilibutrol Aldehyde Optimized Immobilization Parameters by a Capillary Electrophoresis and Mass Spectrometric Analysis. I'd like to thank the UFE Research Office for allowing us students access to high quality research that most students don't get to take part in until their graduate studies, and also Dr. Gafforifar for guidance on this project. It is a pleasure to present the award for Computer Science to Stephen Lawrence for his project, Improved Deep Convolutional Neural Network with Age Augmentation for Facial Emotion Recognition in Social Companion Robots. Hi there. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank you for awarding me this. Uh, I'm very grateful. I do want to give a big shout out to my supervisor, Dr. Amir Shabani, and my research partner, Tai Banjum. The award for the School of Land Use and Environmental Change goes to Vanessa Brewer and Nicola Ferguson for their project, Luminescence Dating of Ancient Environments, Hudson Bay Lowlands. UFV also has several special awards for community service, indigenous and industry engagement research. These awards are for outstanding research done by undergraduate students together with a UFV community or industry partner or with an indigenous focus. 
So it's my great pleasure to present the Community Service Research Award to Julia Whitaker for her geography project, Starling Management on Blueberry Fields in East Matsqui, a city studio project. Wow, this was really unexpected. Thank you so much to those who nominated me. And as always, thank you to my supporters who always encourage me to do my best and keep me believing in myself. The next award is the Indigenous Research Award. It is an honor to present the award to Alice Clark. Her English project, True Patriot Love, exposing the illusion of Canadian multiculturalism through Indigenous and immigrant literature. This year, we have two Industry Engagement Research Awards. The first one goes to Masaj Kezor for his Electoral Apprenticeship Project, Automated Honey Extraction System Project. The second Industry Engagement Award goes to Holden Pimentel for his computer science project, the Rolling List Software. Thank you so much, and thank you especially to Dr. Adesina and Dr. Campbell for all their amazing support and this great opportunity. Thank you to the family and friends of our students who have always known the hidden gems that lay within. Your encouragement has brought out the best of them. They could not succeed without your support. Special thanks to the faculty mentors who work with students to uncover their shining talents and provided opportunities to dig a little deeper and reach a little higher. When our students succeed, we all succeed.